channel. How's everybody doing out there? I hope you guys are having one of your best days ever. For me, I had a little bit of a long morning, but it is about to get so much better because I'm about to have one of the best dinners. Now, if you guys were looking at this title and wondering, what the heck is a tortita? Well, let me tell you guys, the best way to describe this heavenly beef patty is that once you try its combination of ingredients, you will never want to go back to any other ground beef recipe or heck, any other meatball recipe ever again. Yes, they are just that good. So without further ado, you guys, let's get started. Mm. Okay guys, so you're gonna start off these tortitas with two pounds of ground beef. For best results, use 80% lean so that the patties will be nice and moist and juicy. Add it to a large mixing bowl with a dice of white onion. Make sure you chop the pieces on the smaller side and you're gonna reserve about a quarter cup of the onion for the sauce. Lastly, add a chopped tomatoes, some green onions, and the star of these tortitas, it wouldn't be the same without it, the mint. Does anybody out there know why ground beef and mint go so well together? There has to be some kind of culinary explanation for this. You're gonna season the mixture with two teaspoons of salt, a teaspoon of pepper, and you're gonna get in there and mix everything up well. Get a large skillet ready with a couple tablespoons of oil. I like measuring the patties into one third cup sizes, and lastly, press them down into little ovals so they won't be too thick. You're gonna allow these to fry up on a medium heat and don't speed the cooking process because you really want these guys to cook up in their own juices. So put the timer for around 20 minutes, just be careful that they don't burn. While they're cooking, you wanna prepare that heavenly sauce. Add to a small pot 14 ounces of plain tomatoes, a quarter of that chopped up onion, and a teaspoon of salt, and also a little teaspoon of oil just so that the sauce will fry in. You're gonna blend this all up into a puree, and lastly, add a half a cup of water. Let this simmer until the sauce is all thick and fried up. Checking back on the patties, we're gonna give them a flip. If they're really plumped up, I like to just press them down a little bit with the spatula. Allow them to fry up on the other side. And now for a bonus recipe. So many of you have been asking me how I make my rice. You know, the kind from when you were a kid with all those cute little veggies inside. It's so simple and foolproof. Add to a shallow skillet, two tablespoons of oil, and two cups of rice. You're gonna fry this up for a few seconds until the rice is slightly toasted. I add a clove of crushed up garlic, and really quickly I saute it the last few seconds, being careful that the garlic doesn't burn. Lastly, go ahead and add three and three quarters cups of water, four teaspoons of chicken consomme, and a sprinkling of those frozen mixed up veggies. Bring it up to a boil, then lower the heat on your stove's lowest setting. You're gonna cover the rice and put the timer for exactly 20 minutes. All right, you guys, so let's finish up this recipe now. Once the tortitas are finally all fried up, remove any of the excess oil from the pan, and you're gonna pour all of that tomato sauce all over them. Allow them to incorporate into all of that tomato goodness and serve yourself up some of that rice because you guys, dinner is ready. These tortitas, they make the most killer sandwiches inside of a nice crusty roll or even with a side of french fries. This is one of those recipes that's always gonna have everybody asking if you can make it over and over again. And if you guys were wondering where this recipe originates from, it's actually from the beautiful country of Guatemala. If you guys enjoyed this recipe, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up, leave your comments down below, and stay tuned for more quick and easy recipes all of them always with a unique twist.